What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on this video with me today. My name's Chad. I am the host of Charleston Car Videos on YouTube. So uh, today we're going to take a look at the 2017 Chevy Silverado with LT package on it. And uh, I've seen on my YouTube channel that we got a lot of interest in these Chevy Silverados. So I thought why not go ahead and film another one today and take a look at one that's a little bit different color. So let's do that. First of all, the color's blue. And uh, this is a really nice looking color blue on this truck. Not sure what the exact name of it is yet. I literally just grabbed the key and walked out here and started filming it. But we'll, we'll get into all the details in just a minute. So uh, let's go ahead and start off on the front end. You know, I won't get into too crazy detail in the video or as they say, in depth review. But um, I'll go around it and take a look at it just as if you were here on the lot today. Again, I'm no expert, but I have been filming Chevy trucks since 2011. Now, uh, I like the front end on it, the 2017. The chrome looks really good, and the headlights just say something nice, which they say, man, I'm looking like a Chevy truck, <laughs> whatever it is. But uh, one thing I can tell you, I like how they've added in, I guess it's LED lighting right here on the bottom. Let's take a look. Let's see if I can get it to light up. Well, it's not lighting up, but I know a way to do it. You know, this truck has remote start on it, so you hit lock, then you hit this and hold it down. She's alive! She's alive! That's right. Now you can kind of see in there, it's lit up. It's hard to see in the daytime. I really need to come out here at night and get some cool shots of it. But um, anyways, looking good. So we're all liking the front end on the Silverado. I think uh, a lot of y'all like it too. It's just got a nice beefy look to it. The hood, what is this called? They're not inductions. I don't know what it's called, but I really do like how it kind of how they've designed the hood. It gives it a really nice sporty look and just how it kind of raises up over there. It's not a cow hood. Again, there is no holes or slots or anything like that. I do apologize for the sunlight if it's, if it's hitting the camera a little weird. But anyways, we'll keep rolling in and get a little closer shots. Take a look at this. Five star wheels. You can't go wrong with five stars. I tell everybody that. And Chevy's done a nice job putting a polished aluminum wheel on there instead of chrome on this one which looks nice. I like it. It's got a, got a classic look to it. Good looking Continental tires. Plenty of tread. Again, it's a brand new tire. They're the Cross Contact LX20s Eco Plus. And they're a 275-55 series tire. So probably a nice soft tire and uh, for better ride quality, right? Now this particular model is not full four-door or they call it crew cab, but it does have four doors. So I guess it is full four door but a little bit shorter in the back which is fine and uh, we'll get in there in a second and look let me hit the unlock button so you can have a look see here that's about as wide as that door opens okay pretty solid let's take a look in the back rear end looks like a Silverado that's for sure this is nice. I like that. I do like Fords a little better, how they got kind of a setup behind here with a pole and a, and a, a little step that pops out. I kind of like that a little bit better, but, um, but that's fine too. Not bad. Does have a tow package on it. That came already included from the manufacturer. You got your brake light hookups right here. Got your backup camera there. Let's see how hard this closes down. So that's nice. I mean, literally just click it, click it, and walk away. It doesn't slam down real hard like they did back in the day. So that's pretty cool. What would they what would you say? They got shocks on there? Something like that to keep it nice and smooth. It's a good looking truck. Uh, again, I like this color blue. The window stickers right here. Let's see what color that is. That is ocean, deep ocean blue. So nice color, 5.3 liter V8, jet black interior, six speed automatic. Uh, I know it's hard to see on here, folks, but uh, they got on here 44,070 is total MSRP. But this is what's cool about Marchant Chevy. They put it, the price right there, 4470. They sell all new vehicles, 98 over invoice, so that puts you at 4280. Whatever the rebate is or incentive money, they put it on there, 2500. That's total 39580. No deal admin fees, no dock fees. 
as you can see right here. So none of those closing fees, no aspirin needed, right? You won't find a whole lot of car dealerships in the country that put this sticker on here like this with a breakdown like that. So that's nice. And then they also put this sticker over here. You know, no deal add-ons such as rust proofing, paint sealant, undercoating, closing dock fees, etc. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to selling dealer. Beware. You know, that day they call it an addendum sticker on a car. A lot of dealerships you go to on the front windows, they got this little addendum sticker with all these extra things like that stuff. They don't do it here because, you know, that could add up to be a thousand or fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars. And who wants to sit here and argue back and forth with people about, oh, I didn't want that on my car and you put it on there, but you're going to make me pay for it or you're going to have to discount it, right? Well, just don't put it on there. And um, if they want those extras, then add them on, right? It's just that simple, car dealers. Don't you realize that? Anyways. It's all about making the extra dime, folks. So anyways, let's take a look here. Power windows, power uh, power door locks, power mirrors, all that, right? Got nice little cubby hole space down here. Then another little spot over here. That's not leather. It's kind of a hard rubber material. Again, leather seats on the LT. I love the stitching. Looks really good. And, uh, you know, Chevy has always done a great job at making their seats comfortable to sit in. That's for sure. Also, power seat and power lumbar right there. Rubber floor mats. Steering wheels leather wrapped with the stitching. Nice looking steering wheel. It's running cold AC, of course. Got a nice little display screen there. And then another big one over here that's also touch screen. You got heated seats on driver passenger side. You got, you know, USB auxiliary ports. Even still got a CD player spot right there to put a CD in. On stars in the rear view mirror, you're getting it no matter what. You don't have to uh, resubscribe after three months if you don't want to. And then you do got a place for sunglasses and things like that right there. And then your microphone's up here for your Bluetooth. Now, I, I want to walk around the other side in a second and show you something, but that's nice. It does still dub over as a center seat and a really big center console. More storage, more outlets, those USBs, auxiliaries, and a 12 volt right there. Pretty nice. Now real quickly here, go around the other side. One thing I never do on my videos, and I'm going to do it right now, is, well, just hang on a second. <laughs> You'll see. A lot of people overlook things like this, but uh, let's take a look here for a minute. The glove box. Let's open it up. Let's take a look. Well, one thing I like is it's got a locking part right there, so that's kind of cool. Why would it have a lock on there? Well, maybe you want to lock up some personal items. Maybe you have a 9mm handgun or a little 45 and you want to put it in there. You can lock it up. Don't have to worry about it. When the policeman pulls you over, you just say, look, I got a gun sitting in the thing right there, right? Look how that opens. Clicks open fast. Another USB port right there. And not a whole lot of storage space in this top part. But enough for a little concealed weapon right there. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then down here is where you can put all your books and manuals and all that good stuff. Okay, so you got a little storage down there. So that's nice. Fit and finish is nice over there. So that's pretty comfortable on the passenger side. Back seats look good. Again, this is not your full crew cab. This is the extended cab, which is still a really nice truck. Not everybody wants a full four door. So there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. If there's anything you want me to cover on my next video when I come out here next week and film the Silverados again, let me know in the comments. Again, I'll do anything, folks. I'll take it down the road, drive it, whatever you want, but let me know in the comments. You know, if you want to see more under the hood, we can do that, and we can do that right now if you want. Again, you can click off the video at this point if you've seen enough, but hey, what's it gonna hurt to just take a few minutes here to pop the hood? So that's, that's fine. First, where is the hood release? A lot of vehicles, it's right over here. This one, it's right there. So click that. Let's see if we can do this while we got a camera in our hand. Right here. Hold on. There we go, right there. There we go. That's nice. Don't have don't have a little pole, so you, you, it just opens right up. That's very nice. There's the engine. Very clean, of course. 
I mean, again, folks, it's a Chevy Silverado. What do you think? Beautiful. I don't know too much about motors. I do know that's your dipstick over there. I know that's your, uh, your intake system. That's where the air comes in. It gets rammed into the motor. And that's your heads right there. And then uh, brake reservoir. Window washer fluid right there. And then I'm assuming that's the battery right there. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the battery is under the uh, back seat. I think I've seen one of y'all mention that before on some of my videos. Let me know. And it's nice they put that padding under there too. You know, uh, one thing when you're a car salesman, you'll learn that the padding here, yes, it's to quiet the engine down, but at the same time, the padding is helpful if you get in a car wreck and a fire starts under here. This supposedly will help damper the uh, the fire and help put it out. So that's and uh, of course, like with all the aluminum and all that firewall stuff back there, that's to do the same thing. Keep that fire from not spreading on into the inside of the car, because if you're in a car accident, you that's the one thing you don't want to happen. Especially if you don't have time to get out. So be careful. Let me know what you think of Silverado. Thanks again for watching. All I can ask right now is that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed watching my video. I, uh, I film all the time out here in Ravenel. And uh, every week I'm putting videos up at all kinds of different car dealerships, all kinds of different cars. And um, really, 2017, I'm going to put the pedal to the metal every single day to put good content on here. That's my goal. And uh, I've, I've noticed that y'all are watching and subscribing. So, again, send me some comments. Let me know if you've just seen a truck that you liked and you'd like to see film, whether it's a Z71 model, whatever one you'd like to see filmed. Send me a comment. I'll do the best I can to do it for you. I come out here once a week. So have a great day. We'll see you soon. I'm Chad signing out from Charleston Car Videos at Marchant Chevrolet.